All right, so we are back in the garage again, obviously. But today, we are going to be running wires and installing boxes so that we could have power run through the way it should be versus hooked up over into a generator. Even if we have to now run an extension cord from the house, one side into the box, and then get power that way, right now, until I get all the other rest of the pieces equipment, at least I'll have lights and power so that I can uh, do a little few more things. But it's not a requirement for me to be able to do all the work. It's a heck of a convenience. And if you have the garage to do it, why not, right? All right, <clears throat> probably not perfect, but it'll definitely work. Lined it up here so that I could run the wire through this channel behind the, behind the legs and everything. And yeah, so I have a ton of these screws left over from when they built the garage. Oh, puppies found their spot. Uh, yeah, about a lot of them. Don't know how many, but they're left over. They will work. I don't care. All right, so quite literally, I don't know, five minutes later, I got three down this side. I got one, two, and three down there. And I got one and two on the back one. The reason I have basically, well, this one right here is going to be power for this table here. Obviously, it can gain, I can put it here, plug it into there, um, and then plug into there if I want to, but mainly this is right here. These two up front here, this one and the one over there. This one will probably be so when I finally get a decent table built, probably starting right around here, I can run my power cables to charge the batteries for my, I don't know, my impact, my ratcheting wrench and stuff like that. And then I have the one in front here and here. It may be a little overkill, especially with, um, you know, being, being the boxes are gonna have two outlets each in them. Um, so there's not gonna be any lack of place to hook up power into here. And then I have, a, let's see, three extras. So I'm gonna probably put one, two, and three up there so that when I do get fans, I'll at least have a place to uh, plug them into up there without having to run a cord down. And then something about this one here we will end up changing and probably going ahead and putting a box over there or take that one and plug it into one of the boxes that's going into a fan or something up top here. So that's the idea. <laughs> and here I thought I really needed to measure these boxes because I just used the body of the, the panel. So I can easily run the wire through the chamber through here behind here and feed it through here as needed that is because so when i do finally get to the point to where i want to insulate this at least i don't have to worry about it having a small bulge out from where the wire runs when it can just run right behind here and be left alone from the insulation up top there i'm gonna probably spray foam it but I'm not in any hurry to do so. You know, right now, I just wanna get certain things done so that I have light and power to do other things. So now, what we're going to do is run this stuff right here. Get started, get it started, and then start, you know, not only the light switch, but the outlets. All right, little generator. She is running her head off. Only a thousand watts. Uh, used it for when I was when I would fly airplanes out of my field so I could charge the batteries. But as we can see, it lights up in here nicely. Have a little bit of a dark spot in this area right here. So I may go ahead and put 
one more light right there eventually but right now everywhere in the here is nice and lit up making it a lot easier to work on stuff and the projects have been building up so i need to hurry up and get this one done so i can get started back on old girl here and before i forget this is why we came back into the shop last night my wife wanted a place to put all these placards we've gotten from the flying events that we've gone to and then she's sublimated this one this one and this one herself so we kind of have you know eh, i mean you will see it mostly this door will probably be open but it's here if i want to close the door and the weather gets bad i can sit there and look at myself in the mirror and then uh yeah so she made those and then we bought these are ones we got from when we went flying and then hopefully more to fill out this empty area of the door too and one thing we'll be doing yeah i shut all the power off got tired of listening to the generator all those light spots right there in all the corners and there's some up on the top up here I'm going to go ahead and fill those in with uh, spray foam. Um, I have it here somewhere. I got that uh, spray. Oh, there it is. That, you know, stuff in a can. Be more than enough to go ahead and seal up those gaps so that no little critters decide they want to fly through or make their way into here and also keep it as airtight as possible so that the weather inside and outside kind of stays the same i mean it's a metal building there's going to be fluctuation and it will eventually you know, whatever but yeah mainly to keep the critters out and yeah actually i don't know if you can see it there now some of it up there but yeah this is just a little bit and other than that all right let me get this wire run all right one down a whole bunch more to go at least i think i have it right because it is paint by numbers um, and it's also written on the back black and white so this one is going to take just one for now i got the cable all run i'm going to cut it here and then put one here and then obviously jump it over to this one and then right to the next one and then all the way around we go no use in me videotaping this process because i'm not good at it i'm just doing the best i know how and then i'm gonna have somebody who knows about this stuff check my work make sure i'm okay smart sometimes all right well i'm sure the light on the gopro will show a lot better but it's dark you know, I feel like listening to a generator uh, while I finish up the last two, last outlet. I think I'm on one left. Nope, last two outlets, this one and this one. Everything else all the way around is done. Um, you still need to get some sub panel and stuff like that to run outside, but that's all I'm doing for today. Uh, I don't know how well the light shows, if it's dark or not. But I am signing off for today. Tomorrow I will be finishing up those two outlets. And then I will have to make a cable that goes between the generator and the outlet to at least provide power to the outlets to test them. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. Until then, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.